Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The being that is constantly referenced in virtually every single culture's mythology is the giant. It doesn't matter where you are, the local mythology probably references giants in some form. It would be quite the spectacle if people figured out that they were real at one point. Here we can see some questionable proportions. The types of buildings in these paintings exist today, but they are much larger than the people in them. This was common in very old paintings, and the mainstream explanation is that the artists wanted to get the entire building in frame. But are all of these paintings of unrealistic proportions? This one is surely disproportional. The entire building is the chair. How about this one? Remember, buildings like these are in existence today, but to us, the buildings are way bigger. How about these? Don't you think the buildings are a little small? The buildings are barely even in frame, so the I'm getting the whole building in frame excuse for small buildings doesn't apply here. The buildings in these paintings just look a bit too small. Or, the people in these paintings were much bigger than we have been told. If you think this is the best and only evidence for giants, you are very mistaken. This is just the tip of the iceberg. On another occasion, we will explore some of the most conclusive information. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. In 1710, the book The History of the Great Genghis Khan, the first emperor of the ancient Mughals and Tartars, by the translator of the French royal court Francois Petit, was published. The Mongols, who according to official history were exclusively nomads, turned out to have a well-developed blacksmithing business. It is clearer that historians are more interested in describing grandiose battles and numerous armies, but explaining where the nomadic army in the steppes got weapons for tens of thousands of warriors is not interesting at all. Where did they get the raw material, iron ore, where did they locate the processing plant, how and where did they forge the metal, how did they organize the logistics, a longing. And after all, the scale of production should be impressive for the army of many thousands, and the presence of wagon train smiths does not explain it. By the way, this is the 16th century Encyclopedia of Animals. The book by the botanical scholar Jan Johnston, Descriptions of the Wonders of Nature. Amazing Animals. In this book, in addition to our usual domestic animals, hippos, goats, horses, cows, monkeys, and lizards, there are unicorns, griffins, hybrids, and other mythical animals, as it should be. There is actually a lot different people among us, but mainstream media today tell us that these people who look very different have diseases, so they can hide the truth. Here is an example of this. This is a family called the Fugates family who had a blue skin, and they lived in Kentucky. On the top, the people with their faces filled with hair are called werewolves.
On every continent, you can find a huge variety of places supposedly created by nature, which are very reminiscent of modern mines and quarries. The first picture is of Mount Watkins. There, excavations of rock on a huge scale that nature cannot create, are all too obvious. This particular place is very popular, in terms of possible ancient quarries. Let's compare. Below is a photo with the traces of a rotary excavator. Does it look like? Scientists mistake places like this for natural formations. And there are a lot of such places on Earth. It seems to me, that in the past, the Earth was mined as best they could, and now the same thing goes on. Only when this civilization existed, unfortunately, one can only guess. Baffle Rock, located on the shore of Lake Jennings Randolph. There seems to be nothing special about it, but if you look closely at the outlandish, regular geometric pattern, many questions arise. The imprint on the rock is controversial, whether it is a geological formation or a remnant of ancient technology. According to some scientists, this huge piece of rock could have originated 300 million years ago. Those who have seen the rock are confused by its construction and composition. The lines are so parallel, and so smoothly polished, that it is hard to imagine that it could have been produced by natural phenomena. To this day, no one knows for certain for what purpose, by what, or by whom this structure was created. Everyone offers their own theory, trying to explain the incredible origin of this piece of stone. On the old engravings depicting churches, from various artists, there are no crosses on the domes, none, neither old believers, nor crosses with a crescent, nor, much less, the current ones. We can write them off as simply forgotten to depict them, for whatever reason. But how can we not draw the main attribute, because of which it also wears the proud title of a temple? Unless these buildings were not temples, and, originally, had a completely different purpose. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.